at uh, Vin Italy tasting some wines at the Hofstetter stand together with Martin Foradori from the, from the family. Can you tell us a little bit about the background and the history of Hofstetter? It's a family business. I'm the fourth generation. My last name is Foradori. Company name is Hofstetter. And now the big question, who was Hofstetter? To explain it in a very short way, Josef Hofstetter was the uncle of my great ma mother's side. It's a family business uh, since over 100 years. Can you tell us a little bit about the area Alto Adige? Of course I have to say that uh, Alto Adige is the most exciting wine producing area in the world because we are a mountain area. We have the Alps in the north, we have the Mediterranean Sea in the south. We can grow grapes at 200 meters over the sea level. We can go up a thousand meters over the sea level. We have different sides of the valley. With this, I want to say, uh, in a certain way, we are able to produce many different varieties because this uh, wonderful microclimatic uh, situation. And this makes Alto Arige very interesting. Alto Arige, of course, is known for his fresh, mineral, crisp white wines. But Alto, in Alto Arige, we also have a great potential, for example, for Pinot, because we have a perfect climate for growing Pinot Nero too. Uh, what kind of soils do you have for your vineyards? Total chaos. We have, as you can imagine, different soils in the eastern part of the valley and another type of soil in the western part of the, the valley, a lot of argil. Then we have calcareous soils. We have part where it's very sandy, where there is gravel. Then we have very rocky parts of soil. To say that in Alto Arige there is just this type of soil, it's impossible. It's completely impossible. That uh, underlines the let me use the word craziness of Alto Adige. Not only the climatic craziness and the altitude craziness, but from one hill to the other. From here to here, maybe 150 meters, we have a complete different soil. And also different microclimates, as I understand as well. Uh, I used to say in Alto Adige we have a four-dimensional, we are a four-dimensional wine growing area. First dimension, different side of the valley. Second dimension, different soils. Third dimension, the different altitudes on both sides of the valley, of course. And to make everything much more crazy and much more difficult, the changing of the microclimate of the soil, even on the same side of the valley. So. What else we want more? Nothing. Thank you very much. I thank you.